Hey everybody, Mark from The Geek Church here. And today I've got another thing from Abacus Brands, the Bill Nye VR Science Kit. We're gonna be opening it up and trying her out right after this. Okay, to start off, I'm gonna have to say that the um, Abacus Brands are these VR games that this is a second in our series. And um, I grew up with Bill Nye. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by that. Uh, I'm essentially Gen X, so I'm like over 50 years old. Um, I first learned about Bill Nye on a show called Almost Live. Now this was a show that appeared only in Washington State um, on King TV, which was the NBC version in Seattle, Washington. And uh, it was a show that I, when I watched it, it was basically right before um, Saturday Night Live. So like Saturday Night Live like would show up at midnight, but 11.30 they showed, or maybe even it was 11 o'clock, I'm not even sure, it might have been, it, it was very late, like right before Saturday Night Live they aired Almost Live. And that was a great time slot to put it. Almost Live was essentially a sketch comedy show that dealt with the local stuff um, that was happening in Seattle and it just did other fun things. And one of the fun things it did was regular cast member Bill Nye um, would show up as Bill Nye the science guy and he would do some fun little science experiment. And it was really good, clean fun. And I get the feeling like he really wanted to merchandise himself and eventually did. After all, have eventually landing that syndicated science show, which I think only appeared on PBS, but I'm not really certain. And that was uh, made possible from a grant from Boeing, which is very close to Seattle. So essentially, uh, yeah. And now Bill Nye is kind of, he's sort of a household name. Everyone knows who Bill Nye is. I mean, hey, he's the Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Come on, you know this thing, don't you? Okay, maybe you grew up with that. Maybe you didn't. I remember catching it on PBS and thinking like, oh yeah, Bill Nye, I remember him. So yeah, so there's a, even when he was starting to get big, I still had a little bit of nostalgia for him. Anyway, that's my Bill Nye testimony. Anyway, so I guess the best thing we can do is open her up and find out what's inside. Um, I have a suspicion that there's going to be, in fact, I can even see it, the um, VR glasses here. But what else is inside? Tape. Okay, so now that I've got the tape off, Let's just check this out. All right, okay, all right. I'm gonna open this up like this. I think that's how it's supposed to be opened. And uh, I've had issues with unboxing where I open a box a certain way and then everything just kind of falls out and I realize, ah, yeah, it's supposed to be only opened one way. Maybe this is the one way it's supposed to be opened. And I can't tell. All right, okay, all right. Well, I'm glad I got a table shot of this because uh, those are hard to get. Gotta slouch in my chair though in order to do that. I need a bigger studio, don't I? Hmm. You guys want to start a Kickstarter campaign for me? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, let's check this out. Okay, so there's this plastic cover here that's got to come off. Tape once again. Okay, so we got this thing off here. And, uh, all right, here, just as I suspected, is the virtual goggles. They look just like the one in the cold case VR uh, one um, report that I did. And you should watch that if you haven't watched it yet. Like I said, this is second in the trilogy. There's also this, which looks like a kind of interesting little bag. This looks like something I would get a swag at CES. Yeah, maybe I did get one. Um, all right, so I'm assuming the instructions are in here. And uh, hey, what is this? I didn't expect a bound. Oh, shoot, stuff comes up. Oh, hey, all right. <laughs> I like the sticker here with Bill on the thing. If I ever get a chance to meet Bill, I'll have to tell him how much he's influenced me. So, um, all right. So, okay, so I'm assuming we've got, oh, all right, it tells you how to even get started here, which is great. Uh, what is in this book, though? Oh, okay, looks like there's a lot of interesting stuff here. So, okay, there's a lot of, uh, okay. Here's the thing, I have, uh, you know, when it comes to Bill Nye, he's kind of a celebrity scientist. I remember there was a big thing that happened where he was addressing climate change and Sarah Palin really got really miffed at him and basically says, I'm more of a scientist than Bill Nye is. And I'm kind of going like, ooh, you should probably check out if you guys have comparable degrees because that's really all where it comes from, isn't it? It is, right? Yeah. So um, basically, I'm seeing some things that, uh, oh, okay. Let's just look at what's on top here. We've got some, uh, we got some food coloring here or we got some clothespins or, or actually, 
Not really sure why we have that. I guess we're gonna we're gonna build a better mousetrap, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, I see a beaker here. Me 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 me. Not that kind of beaker. Um, and some stuff. These look like some. I don't know. Uh, this feels like we're gonna make a potato battery, because uh, I think I see an experiment for a thing. And of course we have some. Let's see. Test tubes. Isn't that that's is that what they see these are called? I, I forget what these are called, but. Um, oh gosh. Okay, there's baking soda here, and there's also a little volcano. I can think I can figure out what we're gonna do with this. And if you haven't figured this out here, uh, let me say, I was beaten by a baking soda volcano! That was not a good Doofenshmirtz impersonation. Doofenshmirtz is also my science inspiration, by the way. And there's also some uh, glue, and this looks like some Elmer's glue, but it doesn't have the Elmer's label. And there's also this thing. What the heck is this? Some sort of rock? Some flint or something like that? And a funnel? A pencil sharpener and another mini beaker. Mini, mini, mini beaker! Okay, I gotta stop doing that, but uh, you see what I'm saying here. Um, so, a lot of basic uh, science stuff here. So, what can we say about this? I don't know. Why don't we get started? Okay, while I'm at it, they also included uh, these things. Just, uh, there's some stuff like a balloon, some string, and it was just in this bag. I just didn't even know about it until I was just going through some stuff. So, hey, maybe we'll look at that. Maybe we'll not look at that. There's a lot to look at here. Okay, I think the important thing is that we looked at um, his instruction booklet of how to get started. Hmm. Yeah, he and I have a lot in common. Okay, so there's a thing that allows us to download the app here, and I'm just gonna sort of do that. Um, yeah. Let's see if I have to, hopefully I don't have to set up an account to do this. So I'm really hoping I don't, because I'm kind of sick of doing that. I really don't think you really need to set up an account for these things. Does everything need an account? I just don't really see a need for it and stuff like that. You know, it's funny, while I was griping about uh, how I hate having to open an account, the barcode scanner I was using to scan the, the app, wanted me to enter an account information, and it's like, I don't even remember if I even had something like that. Crazy. Anyway, this is gonna take a while for it to download. Oh gosh, this is a huge app. 2.0 gigabytes? We. Hey, while I'm waiting for the app to download, I might as well talk more about Bill Nye. I'm actually curious if they actually got the Bill Nye to kind of do the uh, VR demonstrations on these things, which is something I'm super curious about. And I've heard this is the STEM toy of the year. I'm not sure which year, but I think that's a good accolade. If you know anything about STEM, I reviewed a lot of STEM products here and I've pretty much written a few books that are pretty much STEM related, so. Hey! Okay, so I've got this thing downloaded here and so there's kind of this thing where it's like, um, like in the book, there's certain frames that are like yellow and if you put your thing on them, uh, they'll give you a sort of virtual thing Although I'm not really seeing that. I could be wrong here. All right, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I had to put in auto mode because um, every once in a while you'll need to put on uh, these goggles to see more, so. All right, right now it's just kind of showing me what it looks like a camera view. I'm not really seeing anything here. So is there something I should scan here or something? I don't know, it feels like, oh, shoot. Okay, just started working. Use a magnet and a pin to find north. In this experiment, we'll learn about Earth's magnetic field and make a compass that points north. Take a look at step one to begin. Okay, I know you guys didn't see that, but uh, while I was looking at this, a 3D uh, CG Bill Nye popped out of the book and told me what to do. And apparently this is the quick compass. Uh, this is the experiment where you kind of get uh, something with some water with a magnet and a needle and you create a cool compass. So that's always cool. Hmm. You know, something tells me this could uh, help me out if I ever needed to survive. Because uh, I can tell you I've got a really... Eh, I've got a... Hmm. Um, yeah, because uh, i got a really bad direction when it comes to directions. So... <laughs> okay, I'm going to go through some more of these things. I'm probably not going to actually do these experiments. So, um, but I am going to just sort of uh, do this here. So what happens if I put... Ah. Can water defy gravity? In this experiment, we'll see how water can climb upward by learning about capillary action. Let's get started. Okay. 
Bill just told me I'm gonna learn how water can flow upward thanks to capillary action. Hmm, how kind of that's kind of cool. What else do we got here? Can you change the color of a flower without painting it? With a little food coloring and a process called transpiration, we can get creative with nature. Look at step one to find out how. Okay, I'm off. Am I gonna find some? Uh, I this is kind of a note for me. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the final cut, but I gotta find a. Oh, this, I gotta get these stuff of Bill Nye talking and stuff like that. Actually, could I just get video footage of that? You know, what? I'm gonna try that. Okay, let's talk about motion. Okay, I'm just gonna try this. See if this works. Okay, is it gonna work? It won't work for me. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully you guys heard that. I'm not sure how much the, my microphone picked up that. Oh shoot, I gotta put on goggles. Okay, all right, we're putting on goggles. Ah. Yeah. Ah. The motion of an object or its movement may seem simple, but there are many forces at work that affect how an object does or does not. Okay, it's working. I can see a good view. Hey, Bill! Hey, he's here! Alright! Hey, Bill! Good to see him. <laughs> For some reason, he's over there. Acceleration, then, is the change in an object's velocity. An object can accelerate by speeding up or slowing down, or just changing direction. An object's momentum, that's a different idea, is the combination of its velocity and its mass. For example, a tennis ball has less mass than a basketball, but if you serve a tennis ball hard, it will end up having more momentum than a three-point shot because the streaking tennis ball will be going so much faster than the slowly arcing basketball. It's momentum. Okay. That was pretty cool. Okay, so, all right, I'm getting the uh, basic feel of this thing that essentially you can do uh, simple experiments with all this stuff and then see some cool virtual reality presentations with or without goggles. This is a great kit. How much is it? I believe the price is about $59.99 on the Abacus brand site. And this is all I'm really gonna show of this. I really think that I've, this is one of those things that's very difficult to show because well, a lot of this stuff has to be seen in order to believe. Anyway, um, this is Mark Rawls from the Geek Church, and I'm signing off.